about the Pomodoro Technique. In this video, you will learn what the Pomodoro Technique is, how it works, and how you can use it to improve your productivity. So, let's get started. What is the Pomodoro Technique? The Pomodoro Technique is a time management system developed by Francesco Cirillo in the late 1980s. The technique is named after the Italian word for tomato because Cirillo used a tomato-shaped timer to track his work sessions. The technique is simple but effective, it involves breaking your workday into 25-minute sessions, called Pomodoros, with 5-minute breaks in between each session. After every 4 Pomodoros, you take a longer break of 15 to 30 minutes. How to use the Pomodoro Technique To use the Pomodoro Technique, you'll need a timer or timer app that can track 25-minute intervals. You'll also need a task list, so you know what you need to work on during each Pomodoro. Here are the steps to follow. Step 1. Choose a task to work on. Start by selecting a task from your to-do list. Focus on that task during your first Pomodoro session. For example, if you're a writer or blogger who is writing a blog post, you can use the first Pomodoro to brainstorm ideas and create an outline. Step 2. Set your timer. Set your timer for 25 minutes. You can use a timer app on your phone or a physical timer. Make sure that the timer is visible to you. Once you are ready, start the timer. Step 3. Work on your task. During the 25-minute Pomodoro session, work on your task without any distractions. Focus only on the task at hand, and try to complete as much work as possible during this time. Step 4. Take a break. When the timer goes off, Take a 5-minute break. Use this time to relax, stretch, or do something else that's not related to work. It's crucial that during the break, you take your mind off work completely. Avoid checking your email, social media, or any other work-related tasks. This time is meant to help you recharge and refocus, so you can come back to your work refreshed and ready to tackle the next Pomodoro. Step 5. Repeat the cycle. After your 5-minute break, start another 25-minute Pomodoro session working on the same task or moving on to a new one. Keep repeating this cycle until you have completed 4 Pomodoros. Step 6. Take a longer break. After completing 4 Pomodoros, take a longer break of 15 to 30 minutes. This is a good time to recharge your energy, take a walk, or do something else that you enjoy. Step 7. Continue the cycle. After your longer break, start the cycle again, beginning with another 25-minute Pomodoro session. Dealing with distractions. Here are some tips for dealing with distractions while using the Pomodoro technique. Identify your most common distractions, take note of the things that tend to distract you the most during your workday. This could include social media, email notifications, or the TV. Once you've identified your distractions, you can take steps to minimize or eliminate them. Turn off notifications, if you find that notifications from your phone computer, or other devices are constantly interrupting your work, turn them off or put them on silent during your Pomodoro sessions. Find a quiet place to work. If possible, work in a quiet and distraction-free environment. This could be a private office, a library, or even a coffee shop. Use noise-canceling headphones. If you're working in a noisy environment, consider investing in a pair of noise-canceling headphones. They can help block out background noise and keep you focused on your work. Set boundaries with coworkers or family members. If you're working in an environment with others, let them know that you're using the Pomodoro technique and ask them not to interrupt you during your work sessions. Set boundaries with family members as well, so they understand when you need to focus and cannot be disturbed. Take breaks when needed. If you find that you're constantly getting distracted despite your efforts, take a break when needed. Step away from your work for a few minutes to recharge and refocus before returning to your Pomodoro session. Remember that distractions are a normal part of life, and it's impossible to eliminate them entirely. However, by using the Pomodoro technique and implementing these tips, you can reduce distractions and improve your focus and productivity. While it's technically possible to skip the breaks during the Pomodoro technique, it is not recommended. The breaks are an essential part of the technique, and skipping them could lead to burnout and decreased productivity over time. The short breaks help to give your brain a chance to rest and recover preventing fatigue and improving focus during the work sessions. Additionally, the longer breaks after every four Pomodoros provide an opportunity to recharge your energy and reflect on your progress. 
If you feel like you need to work for longer periods without breaks, you might consider adjusting the length of your Pomodoros and breaks. Modifications While the traditional Pomodoro technique involves working for 25 minutes followed by a 5-minute break, you can modify the technique to suit your needs and preferences. Here are some modifications you can try. Change the work and break durations. You can experiment with different work and break durations to find what works best for you. Some people find that they can concentrate better for longer periods. For example, they might try working for 50 minutes followed by a 10-minute break. Others may prefer shorter work periods with more frequent breaks. You can also customize your breaks to suit your needs. For example, you might take a longer break after completing two or three Pomodoros instead of four. Incorporate a reward system. If you find it challenging to stay focused during your Pomodoro sessions, you can incorporate a reward system to motivate yourself. For example, you might reward yourself with a treat or a break after completing a certain number of Pomodoros or tasks. The Pomodoro technique is flexible, so you can use it with different types of tasks. You might use it for work-related tasks, but here are some other examples where you can use it. Exercise. For example, you might use a timer to alternate between 25 minutes of exercise and 5 minutes of rest or stretching. Chores or housework. Even household tasks can benefit from the Pomodoro technique. By setting a timer and working on a task for a set period, you may find that you're able to complete your chores more quickly and with less procrastination. Creative work. If you're a writer, artist, or musician, using the Pomodoro technique can help you overcome creative blocks and stay on task. By breaking your work into manageable 25-minute chunks, you may find it easier to get into a flow state and generate new ideas. In summary, the Pomodoro technique can be useful in any situation where you need to focus on a task, avoid distractions, and manage your time effectively. Give it a try and see how it can transform your workday. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.